Make a video, make a video. John Ammo, when are you going to make a video? John Ammo's hiding. John Ammo's gone away for the offseason to abandon you Philadelphia Eagle fans once again. Nope, sorry guys. Don't listen to the haters. He's back with yet another edition right here on YouTube. So, let's get into the offseason talk right away. Um, Pro Bowl's over, Super Bowl's over. Congratulations to the Steelers on their uh, record-setting sixth Super Bowl to prove that they are, in fact, America's team. Good win for the Steelers. Um, again, uh, Eagles came up short, but uh, wrapping up their 2009 season, you know, I hate to say, you know, you're satisfied with anything but a Super Bowl because that's obvious the ultimate goal, and it, it hurts me to see, you know, another team that I thought that both teams that were in the Super Bowl that we beat during the regular season, you know, we beat uh, the Steelers 15 to six, and we beat the Cardinals 27 to 32. I mean, 28 to 40 on Thanksgiving Day. And, you know, you see both of these teams t during the playoffs, it's kind of tough because you always feel like you're the better team. But, you know, somebody came up to me and I said, you know, we're, we're honestly not the better team because when it came down to it, we just, you know, couldn't win that big game again. And something has to be said for that. But at the same time, something also has to be said for the incredible run that we went on. So um, now let's look at, at reasons why, you know, Ultimately, the run came up short. Uh, and I'm not talking about a specific game. Yes, our defense collapsed against the Cardinals. But overall, I'm just saying, like, what would put us over the top so we would never even have to be in that position? What should we focus on this offseason? And obviously, like, right off the bat, the most glaring hole over the last five, six years has been the uh, void at the wide receiver position. So... That should be looked at immediately. That should be the first thing they do. I know that uh, people have been telling me, I guess, that TJ Hushmanzada, who's your mama, has been saying that he wants to be a Philadelphia Eagle. Um, I know there's preliminary talks with Hushmanzada. Uh, I'd love to bring him over. He's definitely a bona fide number one stud. The um, thing about that is, though, what I, and I know we're I know we have the, the kid Deshaun Jackson and he's always a great alternative option. But supposing we can get uh, supposing we can get uh, Anquan Bolden too from the Cardinals. So then we load up T.J. Who's Who's your mama with Anquan Bolden? You know maybe we have to dish off Lido Shepard. I don't know how you know I know he's on the training block. Uh, I know we have a couple extra number ones. I know the Eagles are really um, frugal when it comes to stuff like that. But, you know, I, I heard Anquan Bolden was commanding two number one picks by the Cardinals or something like that. But I think the Eagles can pull it off for maybe one. I don't really, uh, you know, I'm, I, I like Lito Shepard. I think he's played good ball with the Philadelphia, with, with the Eagles while he's been here. I also like Sheldon Brown. But uh, what, what's the X factor, you know? Like, what do we do? We got Asante Samuel, obviously, the deuce, deuce, the stud. So what do we do? I mean, we, 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 we got to... The thing about Sheldon Brown that I love is he hasn't missed any games as an Eagle, I believe. The uh, thing about Lito Shepard is, you know, he's probably missed maybe 20% of his career, 15% of his career, or something like that. He's missed a lot of games. He's, he's, he's you know, gone e almost every season with a significant uh, injury. At some at some point in the season, so you know I'm not, I like him. If he could give me 16, 15, maybe even 14 games, I would say you know let, let's try to work something out. But that hasn't been the case over the last couple of years. So maybe we could dish him off and, and you know pick up Anquan Bolden. That would be kind of nice, and maybe you know number two pick or something like that. Um, free agency is 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 here. It's going to take its toll on every team. You know the Eagles got to address some issues. Uh, the Brian Dawkins factor, Weapon X, Wolverine. What do we do about this guy? You know, obviously, he I, he had seven forced fumbles. I think it was a career high this season. Another Pro Bowl appearance, his like seventh or eighth Pro Bowl appearance. And it's like, you know, obviously we got to re-sign Dawkins. Yes, we have to look at bringing somebody in in the future, at possibly taking over his position. But uh, the Eagles are usually pretty good when it comes to drafting players, when it comes to stuff like that, like Quentin Michael and Sean Constantine, who was okay. 
you know, Dawkins and uh, uh, Michael Lewis that went to the 49ers, and even their, their, their safeties and linebackers before them. They're good, really, really. Andy Reid is not a good um, play clock calling head coach, but he's a hell of a general manager, and he has a great eye for talent. So, uh, yeah, we re-signed Dawkins. You know, Buck Holter's on the free agent block. What do we do with Buck Holter? Uh, I'd like to keep Buck Holter. I mean, uh, I'd like to get a dynamic power back out there if there is one. I'm not really sure who's on the free agent market as far as that goes. But, uh, you know, Buck Holter's a solid running back, and every time he gets the ball, he puts up significant yardage. So maybe we could bring in another beast and have, like, a three-headed monster, like New York Giant-type deal or something like that. But, uh... I definitely like uh, Buckholter. And then John Runyon, you know, obviously there's going to be younger guys out there, but, you know, I, I, I just don't know how you would get rid of uh, John Runyon either. I guess I guess some of these guys are going to have to go. I mean, I just don't know which ones they're going to be. I mean, you know, uh, uh, Runyon and Dawkins are the longest tenured uh, free uh, Philadelphia Eagle players now, and it's like, you know, part of the reason of Donovan McNabb's success this year and the Eagles' success in the running game the last couple of years has been, you know, Trey Thomas and and uh, and uh, John Runyon and you know uh, Hermenez and and uh, obviously the the kid Sean Andrews and Jamal Jackson, but especially John Runyon. I mean, these guys are grinding it up front, and you know I don't ever mention these guys during my videos, um, and that's my fault. I I come out here and I mention Terrell Owens and I mention Flash, you know, Flashy, you know. You know, flash. You know, uh, flashy. I guess wide receivers like Deshaun Jackson, and you know, ultimately the reason why the Eagles have had the success that they've had is because of their line. But um, so it's going to be you know quiet. I think only for a little while. I think the Eagles are going to come out strong this year in the free agent market. I think they know what they need. I think they've gotten close enough the last couple of years and failed that uh, um, so that that they're going to do something to put them over the top. So. I had an interesting conversation with somebody out there. There's a pretty cool documentary. I want you guys all to check it out. Um, this guy called me, and, and it's uh, totally, you know, his baby, uh, but it looks awesome. And he called me and, you know, possibly wants to, you know, get my little five minutes of input on why I'm a Philadelphia Eagle fan. So uh, check out greenfans.com. I think you guys will find it interesting. Um, I might be a part of it, wait, uh, waiting for to talk, talk to a couple people, but... You guys should definitely check it out because uh, it's, it's a really cool Philadelphia Eagle documentary. Um, and that's it, man. So I look forward to uh, a good offseason, a strong offseason for the Eagles. You know, Donovan's back. I guess Andy Reid is back for better or for worse. We're, we're joined for the hip for at least one more year, probably two, or God knows how long with these guys. But uh, look for me. I'm going to be making a New York Met video uh, pretty shortly. And then if that thing comes through, I'm obviously going to update you on that as well. And I got a couple other things, as I always tell you. So uh, this is John Ammo Archives.